So this is the spot where my former Prusa XL used to live. It fit in pretty well. We'll probably have a shot of it right now. And this is on a 24 by 48 inch muscle rack type shelf that I've had for a long time. I had it up just high enough. I've got uh, totes underneath. And I had this and I have uh, other printers on top and I'm working on reorganizing this room because now it's going to house my Bamboo H2D. Previously I had this set to basically 36 inches, 37 maybe. 36 inches is about what I have to work with. So now uh, we'll figure out how to make that fit. So here's my H2D and here's my tape measure. And I have the... Uh, AMS2 on top and it will fit except it's closed at the moment. It's quite difficult to do with one hand, but it's basically 40 inches, 39 inches. I'm going to say 40 to give you a little bit of extra room. It is not going to fit in that space now. I could move that up four inches and that would work, but then my printer on top would be even higher and I'm actually planning on running two of them with the uh, overhead. AMS light. So I've got to work out something different because part of the problem also is I have one and two AMS two units. I have one going into each of the extruders. I think this is by far the best way to do it. It's fantastic having one on each and uh, more on that later, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to try. So here we go. It's assembled. I think it's going to be perfect. So with my UPS, my rack with my two AMSs, my bucket, which I might go for the skinnier version. That one holds a lot. And then uh, the H2D, it is 47-ish inches wide. So it will fit on that rack. I think I, think I want to go for the skinnier bucket. I'll probably have to redo that. But this, if I measure and lift the top here, it's right at uh, 34 inches. So it will fit. I think I'm even going to move my shelf down an inch. But doing it this way, and I'll link these shelves uh, in the description below, it is 34 inches tall and 48 inches wide. And if I do a skinnier bucket, that bucket was five inches, I think. I can actually save a couple more. It will easily fit on a 24 by 48 inch shelf with a 36 inch height clearance, 34 if you really, really need to fit. So far, I've been very happy with the H2D, and uh, I will have more about that soon. Okay, so it's fully installed. Now, this is the 48 by uh, 24 shelf we looked at before, and I've got the printer here, and it seems to be fitting fine. I do think I still want a narrower bucket because it's awfully tight there. I've got both of my AMS2s and the UPS there, and everything fits. It seems to work out pretty well. I'm happy with it. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, let me know what else you want to see about the H2D or if you want to see what socks I wear. Yeah, that's how that works. And uh, if, remember, if you're going to be a geek, be an elite geek.